I'm gonna come. Right now? Yeah, right now. I know you really, really want it. You belong to somebody else. This was every side bitch song. It was my song out of play. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was our man, girl. But that was little kid behavior because nowadays, let me find out we sharing a nigga. It's not gonna be no nigga. Welcome back to my channel today. I am back with another video. Oh my God, my dryer is going and I know it's so loud. So hold on, let me close the door. I'm not stopping the dryer for y'all because I leave for vacation soon. And if I stop that dryer and film this story time for the next 45 minutes to hour of my life, um, that's gonna set me back. So laundry will be getting done while this video is being filmed. Um, I'm a little nervous that on my birthday, I will not be able to give y'all the video that I was telling y'all I wanted to give y'all. First of all, the whole month of July, I slacked bad. I slacked bad. Like, I don't know. My birthday passed. It's currently August 1st. I'm editing the story time to have it out to y'all. Um, I didn't get any of the videos that I told y'all I was going to do. I literally told y'all y'all was going to get a video, like, a couple days before my birthday, on my birthday, and then, like, August something. But, like, it just did not work out like that. Like, my Wi-Fi, I cannot upload no videos right now. Like, I'm just editing. The laptop just vibing don't have no data don't have no cell service nothing like i'm just editing right now so hopefully with no wi-fi this video backs up but i was not able to get y'all any of this content like this video was supposed to be out on my birthday i didn't even film trinidad and i didn't even take pictures of me on my birthday like i wore multiple outfits no pictures not one picture of my outfits nothing so i'm a little sad about that but it's whatever because i'm thinking about it and i'm like i'm gonna be in trinidad and on my birthday, I'm going to be in Trinidad. And I'm like, I can edit and stuff, you know, no problem. Like, they got they got energy. But I'm scared that the Wi-Fi will not let me be able to upload my video that I planned on uploading for my birthday. So I'm just a little nervous. I am a little nervous. Um, if I don't upload on my birthday, just wish me happy birthday in these comments for real. I just wanted to give y'all that heads up that I am going to be filming for my birthday video to come out. But if I don't end up posting it, y'all know I don't got no Wi-Fi or the fact that the Wi-Fi is trash today's video will be a story time and i just want to give a disclaimer that today's story time has to do with family and i don't tell story times about like my family because i just hate putting my family business online i don't know it's a difference between it being my business and it being like me and my family's business i told y'all when me and my sister fought like these bitches before like i told y'all all that because it's just like okay cool you know but like when you're fighting or when you're in a disagreement with family i feel like there's certain things that should be kept offline which is why this story time was kept offline for a very long time like it literally happened in april when I went to the Dominican Republic and if it was on my spam page you probably heard me like talking about how I'm never going on a vacation ever again with my family like, I hate them like, I'm never doing it like I hate it here and if you follow me on my spam page on TikTok y'all already know I was ready to go by the third day but overall when I look back at it I was just being like a more of a ugh. speaking of the creator my mama calling me mom I'm filming a video I'll call you back you good yeah okay I love you bye all right she really like my little my bestie but yeah i know y'all see me saying like i'm never going on vacation ever again with my family and all that stuff but honestly i feel like i was just really like upset at the time when it happened but like now as it cools down it's just really literally just that feud that just dies down because it's family and my family is really not that trifling like oh my god like i know people have horrible stories when it comes to their families like their families put them in different situations and all that stuff but like well mine we just be chilling like we get an argument here and there but yeah i just want to make a disclaimer that i asked everybody who is going to be partaking in the story specifically my sister because it is about me and my sister fighting but um uh, i asked her can i make the story time and she was like yes bitch, and tell the truth and i'm like i'm gonna tell the truth we almost have to get in the fight because we still to this day don't see eye to eye on the situation but i asked her if i could tell the story time because honestly it's not that harmful but at the time when i was not speaking to her it was harmful because you know like we wasn't made up so why would i come on the internet talking about oh this and what this and this and this happened y'all don't have right to talk about my sister in the comments because y'all not my sister let's get into it me and my family planned a trip to dominican republic for april the reason why i even went on this trip was gagging because i was not even supposed to be on this trip the reason why I even went on the trip is because my sister, she was having like her own little issues and stuff, and I was having my own little issues. 
Oh, not little. They was big problems. Like, if you was here in April, bitch, I was having big problems. Like, if you on my spam page, please drop right now. Y'all know I was going through it in my spam page. So, we was both going through our own little thing. So, my mom was telling us how she was going on a trip for, like, a family party or it was someone's 50th birthday or whatever so my mom kept saying like y'all sitting at home depressed why don't y'all come like my mom could be like y'all both want to sit in the house being sappy and shit like I didn't raise no sappy daughters why don't y'all come on the vacation with us and my sister being who she was was like okay bet I want to go like my sister was really hyping up the trip and stuff because she was saying how she basically she just wanted to like really free her mind on this trip and I'm proud of that because my sister's not really that type of person. So me, I was like, okay, bet. For some context about me and my sister's relationship, my mom and my sister, or just my mom, I don't know if it's my sister, we have all different perceptions of me and my sister's relationship. Me and my sister were very close when we were growing up. Then when we touched middle school, high school, we just kind of got more and more and more and more separate. Um, I wouldn't say that it's not my fault because it kind of is my fault, but like, there's other reasons as to why my sister and I got separate. It's just not for y'all to know, but just know like over time, me and my sister kind of got distant with each other. And she was vocal about it. I wasn't vocal about it because I don't feel like it had a, like an effect on my life because I kind of like started detaching since I was like younger. So my sister now kind of like just more so seen the detachment as like I didn't like her. But like, no, it was more so like, I felt like we really didn't bond. Like we didn't really have that connection. And like, you know, as I was growing up and stuff and I felt like my trust was broken within our relationship, I just kind of didn't really look for a friendship or a relationship with my sister. All I know is that I can call my sister whenever I needed her and she could call me whenever where she needed me which is the situation like it was not animosity we lived in the same house literally up until last year and we shared a room up until ninth grade or until I was in ninth grade so I ain't really had no like issue with my sister it was just more so like I hung out with my friends a lot and then my sister was my sister like you know what I mean like I didn't bring my sister with my friends and stuff like my family pushed on me and that's because my sister wasn't really like an adventurer like oh let's go do this let's go do this it was just more so like her interest did not interest me so when she was like oh she wanted to go on a trip and she wanted to do excursions she just wanted to free her mind you already know i'm like okay that's my cup of tea so we basically all booked the trip for us to all go so now it went from my mom and her friend going to me and my sister going with my mom and her friend since we booked our trip late we wasn't able to get on the same flight as our mom so me and my sister flew separate the day of the trip my sister came to my house we ubered to jfk well how i feel is i'm like the littlest bigger sister like i feel like i'm the oldest but like my sister is the oldest technically like me and my sister are 17 months apart she's older her and kids are actually born on the same day this little thingy in my mouth is like hurting and i don't think i'm gonna be able to talk and not be in pain so i'm about to try to make like a little barrier for my braces until i could go get the wire fixed so if you see a little pink thing in my mouth i just put a little uh sponge there to stop the wire from poking me i noticed that as the trip was like progressing and as we was like going on longer literally like by like the third hour i was seeing like that distance and that disconnect between me and my sister because we don't do a lot of the same thing like, my sister's not like a picture taker like take pictures and stuff but i be trying to like get her into like the oh take a picture like feel like a bad bitch like you're very pretty like take her pictures and i thought when we went on the trip together because she was kind of like interpreting that like when we we're on the trip she was gonna be her baddie b which she was i did take a couple cute flicks to her but like i felt like it wasn't really reciprocated like when i wanted to take a picture it was very much just given like i don't know how to do this so i'm not even gonna try to do this and if you're a woman or even a man bro because i've seen this happen in men but like as a woman like we be taking that shit so personal because for me and Honestly, I have this problem with everyone except keys where like I will tell them to take a picture of me and I feel like they put no effort. My chains will be over here throwing up woosa be looking like this. And nobody will tell me fix my chains like my feet will be looking dumb as hell penguin feet knees knock knock like a door and nobody will ever tell me to fix myself. So it was like low key irritating. So I was low key excited that on this trip, I was able to, like, escape my own issues and stuff that I was having, my own problems that I was having. I was really gonna just be able to, like, have fun with my sister, you know what I mean? Or just have fun with my family in general and just do stuff that I haven't done in a while, which is travel. As we was on the way and, like, we was doing more stuff, I noticed, like, my sister's vibe was, like, very low vibrational. Like, I don't know if it was one-sided because she could say, and honestly, I didn't ask, um, she could say, like, oh, she was in high spirits, but, like, no, I feel like I could tell by now, like, she's been my sister for, what, 21 years now? Or... I'm only 19, so she's been my sister for 19 years now. I was like, okay, I'm not gonna force it, but basically, like, 
this is the first thing that irritated me. Like, I'm gonna just tell y'all from my perspective what was like really building up for me. So the first thing that made me mad was we was in the airport and I didn't even, she didn't know I was mad because we went to breakfast right after. So like, this is also another problem that I have is like, I hold in everything that pisses me off until like the one situation and then I snap, and which is what happened. I'm not saying I wasn't wrong. I'm just saying I had my buildup of things that were pissing me off over time and I was just getting irritated. The first thing that made me mad was when we was in JFK, I had asked my sister like, can you take my pics like I wanted to low-key give like airport baddie like you know going on a trip trying to trying to make people jealous like I'm having fun Fuck you type vibe but it wasn't giving that like it was not giving that my sister basically I low-key just want to put the picture I'm gonna put the pictures right here this is the pictures my sister took so when I got the phone back I was like this bitch didn't even try that was the first strike but I didn't let it bother me like I said we went to breakfast literally right after but then me and my sister had another issue like this is another issue like where we like hit the fan like I was saying I feel like I'm the oldest youngest sister where I am the oldest but I act the oldest but she's the dependent on me like I'm supposed to be the dependent on her because you know like I'm the younger sister but she's dependent on me because she's I don't know she just is but I don't know if you understand but it's always been like that since I remember like that's what I know like since I've been young I was the one who made us breakfast you know what I mean like it's not a terrible thing like at this point I adapted to the role like this has been my sister again like I said for 19 years so it's like now 20 because I'm 20 now so <laughs> but yeah it's not a bad thing it's just something that I have to make clear if that makes sense because if I don't do it who gonna do it Basically, I was responsible for getting us to point A to point B. We was going into Dominican Republic. And if you've ever been in Dominican Republic airport, you already know how the airport gets. Like, dumb bitches would not let us rock. Everybody coming up to you trying to get a dollar or five or six or 10 or 11 or 20. And also too, my phone is an international. I really want to switch to Verizon, but I have Metro PCS right now. Usually works for me everywhere in the US, but when I go out of country, oh, it doesn't work at all. So I was trying to tell my sister, like, I don't have Wi-Fi. We don't have Wi-Fi. So when we're in the airport, since we're not with mom, I basically told my sister, like, make sure you keeping your stuff to you. Like, there's thieves in here. I'm not saying that there's not thieves everywhere else before y'all Dominicans try to get on me. I'm just saying, like, we know how the airport gets and we're United States and we're black. Like, girl, get your stuff together. So I basically told her, like, keep your stuff to you like i'm responsible for getting us to point a point b i'm holding the passports i'm holding a lot of our stuff it's like bro i'd rather have our passports and like have my suitcase rather than like just handing it off to somebody like no bro so i had all of our stuff and i was the one who was finding the bus that was going to bring us or our ride that was going to bring us from the airport to the hotel my mom was no help she was no help she kept saying oh just get the bus get the bus me looking at all the buses i was just like when i catch you when i fucking catch you bitch i'm gonna violate you watching the buses because what do you mean get the bus girl that's what i'm trying to do but like, i ended up hanging up on her because she was pissing me off so i was like i'm better off just trying to find the bus myself so i'm telling my sister like stay behind me but my sister walked slow as i was walking and then these men kept coming up to us which obviously as a woman is gonna throw me off because i don't want no man talking to me they kept coming up to us saying like oh do you need a ride do you need a ride do you need a ride and i kept saying no 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 they kept saying oh let's take your suitcase for you let me hold your suitcase and roll it for you no I don't need you to help me like I don't want you to help me no over time I was walking and then I look back and then I see that my sister has given a man her suitcase to roll and she's just walking with her duffel and the man is rolling her suitcase next to her now I'm not saying that this man was a thief but what I'm saying is like I gave you one thing for you to do like I'm responsible for getting us from point A to point B making sure we not getting in no goddamn uber ride that's gonna have us stuffed with coke I'm trying sister I'm trying please just give me one less responsibility to like not have to watch your stuff on top of my stuff plus our passports that is why I was f***ing me up okay I'm talking I was bleeding like y'all gonna see a lot of jump cuts in here of me literally going like it and then I just cut to the story time because y'all not finna see me digging my mouth but it hurts so I'm sorry I know it's unladylike Plus, that's not getting kidnapped. Like, please just give me that one thing. But she ends up giving this man her suitcase. So I look at her and I look back and I get mad. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very like when I talk to my sister, I just I don't know. Like I was like, sister, take your f***ing stuff from him. Like, didn't I just say to not give him your stuff? Like, what the f Like, do you not listen? I'm frustrated. Like, I am frustrated. So she don't take lightly to me yelling at her. So she's like, bitch, I don't give a f stop talking to me. Like, I don't have 
we get to argue in the middle of um, the airport. So, but mind you, I know we can't get too much into arguing because I'm not trying to be behind shackles. Call me Brittany. I'm not trying to be that. So, I put it down, but I'm like, you're mad fucking annoying. Like, the trip ain't even start yet. And me and her are sharing a room. And I'm just trying not to, like, overly get upset. Like, but I was already overly upset because I was just felt like, bro, on top of the one, resp all the responsibilities that I have to get us to a point A to point B. Wouldn't no Wi-Fi, please. Like, I can't even call nobody. If someone steals your stuff, I can't call nobody and be like, hey, because I have no Wi-Fi. So, please just keep your stuff to you. Like, what the fuck? Even though I put an air tag in her suitcase before we left, I still don't care. Like, I don't know Dominican Republic. So we get to arguing. The man is just like, oh my God, mommy's calm down. She takes her stuff from him, tells me to stop talking to her. We get in our argument. We end up making it to the van. As soon as my sister take her stuff from him, right? They said, hola, mommy, can you please give me a nice little $5, 10 $20, mommy? So we had to basically tip these niggas. $20 for rolling our suitcase. When the first one took my sister's suitcase, he started walking us to a big crowd of men who looked like him, had the same shirt on. They ended up being like, oh, you're going to Majestic. Okay, cool. They started taking my stuff, and I was like, no, I'm fine. I can roll my own suitcase. But he just is not listening. So he ends up taking my suitcase, but I'm walking hella close to him while also holding my own suitcase. And I know he was thinking like, this black bitch think I'm gonna steal her stuff. What the fuck? I don't want her big draws but at the end of the day it's like girl i have valuables in there like bro no 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 hey i throw them a quick little 20 i go about my business we on the way to the hotel everything's fine the trip was going cool honestly like it was really just regular like the trip was going perfectly freaking fine my sister like over time them same vibrationals that she was trying to escape from back home which is why we even came on the trip i feel like my sister was not giving me the same vibes mind you the reason why i was a little bit irritated or even more irritated is because before my sister just mentioned um us going i told her i was like bro if you're gonna go and do the same things you do on vacation every time which is just lay in the room and not do anything i don't want to go because i just want to bond and have fun like i was gonna try to work on my relationship with my sister so i'm like i just want to have fun like if you're gonna do the same like boring stuff i don't want to go but she was like no she's gonna actually attempt like she want to go on the excursion she want to have fun uh -uh. so i'm like okay bet but over time i noticed that she was doing like the same thing another thing that happened that bothered me was we was taking pictures and my it was hot and i had makeup on and we was taking pictures and my sister i take her pictures i flick her pictures they come out cute or whatever i'm standing in the sun and then when it was my turn in the midst of us taking my sister's pictures we ordered drinks so now when it's my turn to take the pictures my sister's gonna talk about some oh i want to go taste my drink now and she ends up tasting her drink and then never taking my pictures so that irritated me because i was like girl like i just okay but that irritated me again because i'm like are you purposely like doing this or is it just like you just really genuinely not realizing like that is bothering me but like i just again didn't say anything so and also like i'm not saying it's my sister's fault for letting these minor things affect me because i'm not speaking up about it me and my sister were sharing a room and then the fourth thing that irritated me was i was in the shower and like i said i feel like my sister was definitely being low vibrational which she ended up admitting that she was letting the same low vibrationals at home affect her during the trip it was two beds but i ended up sleeping on the couch the whole vacation because she had irritated me after the situation i was coming out the shower and i had left my towel accidentally in the living room because that's where i was like chilling for a while and i asked her like hey can you give me my towel and she was like no and she might have been joking i'm not gonna lie or she might have just honestly said no and never forgot i don't give a i don't care at the time i didn't care i was even more mad that she did this i was like you get my towel she was like no so i was thinking she joking because my sister does this thing where she be joking like she be ignorant on purpose like she'll say no seriously and then do it so yes it's annoying but i know my sister so it's not that annoying like i know you so it's cool as long as you do it but i was getting out the shower and the hotel room was dumb cold and like the floor it, like it was a lot going on with the hotel i asked her could she get my towel and she was like no and then i opened the door to the shower expecting to see a towel on the tub it was no towel in the tub so i looked around and i was just like this bitch really ain't get my towel and i'm not gonna ask twice one thing about me i never even wanted to ask it in the first place i walked through the cold room barefoot and then i grabbed my towel and my shoes and then i moved all my stuff into the living room and i just separated myself from her because that pissed me off strike number six we went out to dinner and my mom was being hella annoying you know how moms be late like my mom gonna show up to the person's birthday dinner the birthday dinner at this point this is when i made the tiktok and i was like when it's only like day blah blah, blah and you're already ready to book a flight home my mom was late 
to the dinner. I put my whole makeup on, walked to my mom's room, which was across the resort. If you ever stayed in Majestic's Resort, you in Dominican Republic, you know how far that dumb rooms are. So I walked across the resort, walked, mind you, I had heels on at the time. I ended up switching because I was like, hell nah. Um, I walked across the resort, then I walked to the beachfront to like where I thought the dinner was. It was not there. Um, I walked back all the way, like bro, in heels. I ended up taking my heels off. I'm mad at my mom now because my mom... You just made me sweat my makeup off. You take a mad long to get ready. Like, girl, it's not your birthday. Like, like, let's go, mom. So I get mad at her. And her friend is just like, you know, just meet us back. So I end up going to the restaurant with my sister and leaving my mom and her friend. Hold on. Let me change my battery camera. So I end up leaving my mom and I'm mad at her. She kept asking me, why are you mad at me? Yes, I'm mad at you. Um, So, yeah, I'm mad at her. We go to the restaurant and basically, like, we showed up to the dinner so embarrassingly late to the point where... They was, like, telling us if you want to eat. That's how late we was, y'all. Hold on. To the point where they was telling us, like, if you want to eat, you need to put your orders in now. Like, order for the... What is that? Where did that come from? Like, where did this come from on my shirt? I think that's just my spit from the sponge, y'all. I'm just saying I'm not hungry. Because at this point, I'm irritated. My you look good as this night. While she was about to start taking my pictures, the person was like, if you want to put your order in, um, you can do it. I was like, I don't care. I don't want to eat. My sister was like, I do. So I was like, okay, then go. Okay. Let me try to explain the situation better because I don't know. When I was explaining it here, it just sounded so stupid. The people was like, if you want to put your order in for food, put it in now. So I was like, I don't care. I don't even want it to eat. She said, I do. I was like, okay, so then go order your food. I'm thinking she's going to come back out. And then we going like, you know, just wait till my mom, take some more pics, whatever. She didn't take no pics because she just wasn't in the mood. She was in a bad mood. And my mom ended up coming mad late. And my sister never came back out. So I was like, girl, like, why are you separating yourself? Like, you're being mad weird. And, yeah, that's what happened. I'm skipping to the next part because this story is very long, bro. Then we at the dinner table, and my sister, she's just being, like, mad weird. Like, everybody had an attitude. My mom was the reason why we was really mad because if my mom would have been on time, like, we would have been to the restaurant. We would have never had to rush. Like, our food would have never been cold. I still never ate. Like, I never ate that entire night because I was so mad. Literally, nobody was talking to her. And my mom was just like, what did I do? Like, I, my mom's a Taurus and my sister's an Aquarius and I'm a Leo. I'm like, girl, just stop talking to me. My mom kept being like, you're mad at me too? I'm like, yeah, I'm mad at you. I'm mad at everybody because, like, bro, like, the whole trip, I felt like it just kept going, like, where I had to keep forcing happy this when the whole time it's like y'all all supposed to be happy like my sister you still letting these problems from back home make ruin your trip my mom you turn my mom was turned up but she was turned up too much to the point where she started ruining it this is the last thing i really remember that my sister did that really 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 bothered me before the whole fight situation happened so when we went my mom told us like do you want to do the excursions my sister was the first one who said she wanted to do excursions i said yeah sure no problem so me and my mom walked to the place booked the excursions why we get back to the hotel room and tell her get ready? Mind you, we need to leave in like a couple of seconds. She's talking about she's not going. She's staying on the in the hotel the whole time. Girl, it's paid for. Book and ready. I was more mad at the fact that she came all the way out here to just ruin the trip by bad vibes because she just kept letting someone from back home ruin her experience. So I was just getting more mad at that. Like, I just wanted better for her. Like, you're letting the situation just control the whole trip and how it's going for you. Like, you'll be in the best of moods. Like, me and her will be keying. Then the next minute, like, you're being all weird because... Again, you letting this person bother you. And I could have let a person bother me too. But I didn't. Even when I didn't. Because I knew, like, at the end of the day, like, I came here for a reason. I came here to have fun with my family. I'm not going to let this person suck the joy out of my trip with my family. Like, no. My sister um, ended up just basically saying she's not going. And from there, I was just like, yeah, bitch. This trip ain't for us to bond in because I feel like if we would have went on those excursions, we would have had so much fun. Like, literally every excursion we went on, she did not come. Down to the night where we decided to play WWE. So, when I had came back from an excursion, I had ended up being drunk. So, I ended up falling asleep on the couch. And when I woke up, I was like, I'm going to go to the steakhouse. And my sister was mentioning that she wanted to go to the steakhouse too. But when I had fell asleep, my sister was leaving out. So, <clears throat> I ended up ordering room service, but I never even got it because, y'all, I was knocked the and it was knocking on the door literally the day before we left so we made it basically the whole trip okay y'all i gotta clear up this part because i didn't explain it properly so when i had fell asleep on the couch it was probably like four right and i had probably woke up like five 
30 been out the hotel by like 5 45 5 50. the restaurant that my sister wanted to go to didn't open till 6 so we was both kind of just waiting until they opened for them to see us if that makes sense so we ended up being able to have dinner together rather than she went before me and then i went after her like no she had to wait till six o'clock i ended up waking up around six o'clock to head to the steakhouse so yeah and then my mom ended up joining us because my mom also too called me and was like oh where are you guys at we'll come have dinner with you so yeah my sister ended up being there before me we had dinner but like it was so awkward like we barely talked nothing like my mom ended up joining us it was just so awkward like it was literally so weird Tear it up okay i need to tell you about this room situation so basically we had like the rooms that has a pool access so we're on the first floor and the way to get into the room you have to go like all the way around into like the building or the hotel so basically the whole trip i was just leaving the back door open so that i can just walk straight through like my pool back entrance if you've been to the hotel before you know what i'm talking about um but the whole trip i noticed that like, i was coming back and the door would be locked and i kept thinking it was my sister but she told me it was housekeeper so i was like okay cool while we was at the dinner remember i left after my sister so i left that back door open and my sister left the table before me to go back to the hotel room so when i came back to the hotel room now we can resume to the story because y'all gonna be confused i was walking back to our room and i had went back to our room and i knew my sister had just got back and the door was locked and the curtain was drawn so i was like okay this is probably housekeeping but i'm still not gonna go around like she's in the room so i had knocked on the door and nobody answered i knocked on the bedroom door to the room no one answered and my sister's in the bedroom and like it's literally like a 10 step walk to the door and keep in mind i know i was talking so i had went to the door and i was banging on it like banging like the f feds and no one's opening it and i'm and mind you at this point i was banging outside for like a good five to ten minutes i want to say five minutes because you know when you mad time go fast i'm gonna give myself five minutes even though i told the i was waiting out there for 10 and she was like you wasn't out there for 10 minutes i was like yes the fuck i was and i knew i was because i think i called her twice or three times i did something to try to get her attention and she wasn't ignoring me and the only reason i didn't take it lightly was because i knew her door or her bed was right next to the door so it's like if you hear me out there banging it's like are you choosing to just be lazy and not get up so i get mad as fuck and i'm like open the door and then i called her and she didn't answer and then i texted her and i was like can you open the door blah 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 like i know you hear me sitting outside at this point i'm just pissed and i'm just talking mad shit. like i was sat down because i don't know i was being a stubborn bitch. like i don't know what it was in me i was just being stubborn it could have been the liquor i don't know what it was and i sat down on the porch and i'm like i'm not going around i don't give a f i'm not going around i'm not going around if you was in the room and you hear me knocking and you hear me knocking and you hear me knocking and you're not opening it it's just like are you intentionally doing that and i would have pissed me off because just like if you in a bad mood bro stop bringing everybody down like i don't care so when well, she finally opens the door at this point i'm talking shit, so i'm like that's mad annoying like you she was like i was fucking peeing so she was like she was on the toilet cool but my issue was you heard me out this banging on the door for like five minutes straight just banging 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 texting banging why you couldn't just call me and be like hey i hear you one sec so i was like okay and you could have text me and she was like i don't have to text you nothing blah, 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 blah. so i was like you're so fucking annoying and i just started going the off and i just remember just i don't even remember what i was saying at this point i was just going off i was saying you're annoying you're ignorant you're this you're this you're this stupid as like, I was just saying she's annoying, blah, blah, blah. And she was just like, it's not that serious. I was peeing. And I was like, I don't give a fuck. Because you know I was outside the whole time. And instead of you just texting me, you left me outside to bang on the door for five minutes. Ten, well, I kept saying ten minutes, but I'm telling y'all five minutes. Because I don't want to lie on it. Now, I feel like she had me out there for like a good five to ten minutes. But it don't matter. It don't matter. I'm going to just say seven. Let's meet in the middle. I can't get a that but i'm like you hear me knocking why couldn't you just call me she's like i don't have to call you i don't have to say nothing to you bro you should have just waited blah 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 y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments i feel like the argument was definitely giving someone already fed up someone already fed up or someone already fed up someone who isn't aware that they fed up so now the person who's fed up just seems like they're just nagging but like in reality it's like a little bit that just threw her over the board but i'm not making excuses for myself like i said i knew i was talking I basically tell her she's mad selfish and she's mad inconsiderate and like this whole trip she just made the trip mad negative because but I was basically just going off for her just telling her about herself. She was just getting more and more and more and more and more mad and she just kept talking her shit back. I was talking my shit back. I was in the second bathroom like where the living room was taking off my makeup and my sister was in the room between literally behind two doors 
So we both talking shit from like two different areas. All I hear is like the doors open. So I'm like, okay, she's she's breaking the barrier. But mind you, I don't give a fuck. I'm just still talking my shit because I'm that mad. Like, I don't know. Something about her having me waiting out there when she could have just texted me and been like, from the first bang, because she knows she fucking heard it. I don't care. I know she heard it. Mind you, I was in the room. So like, I know when I was banging on the doors in the bedroom, she could definitely hear that. So I'm like, she could have just texted me and just be like, yo, but the way she just said it was like, you're mad because I was in the bathroom, girl. You could have waited. Yeah, we basically just have two different perceptions of it. Like, you know, of how the trip was going already. Um, She had walked up to me and she was like, you're making me mad. And I was like, well, mix the both of us because I'm already mad, so. And she was like, Ricky, you really making me mad. You really making me mad. And then she was holding her fist. So I was just like, girl, I don't give a f Like, that was literally me. Like, I literally had the rice water, cotton pad in my hand, and the snail mucin in the other. And I was like, girl, I don't give a f Cause like we argue all the time, but like we haven't argued in a minute cause we don't live together no more. And then all I remember is the bitch just bop. And when she hit me, I pushed her cause this is my issue. We could have went all night read for read, but don't never put your hands on me. Cause one thing since we was young, I always hated how she fought me like a bitch on the street. But then like with me, I could never, first off, I don't even like play fighting. Cause if you hit me too hard, I'm gonna be mad. Which is why I know my bro, I don't play fight. I pushed her because I don't hit my sister. Cause I never did. Like from when I was younger, I never hit her. I'm lying. I hit her. But I couldn't hit her the way she was hitting me, so I would always lose, and that shit would blow me. So then I would just stop fighting with her overall because I don't know, like, I don't have that strength when it comes to fighting my blood, like my sister. That Mind you, this is my only sibling. Like, sh she's my only sibling. Like, I, bruh, I could fight a bitch on the street all day, all night. Like, we can go there. But for her, it's just like, I can't go there with you. And, like, I don't have that strength. Like, even though I was mad as hell, y'all, in that hotel room, like my last thought was to put my hands on her i promise you i was never gonna hit her i was never gonna put my hands on her i never thought she would put her hands on me especially because we haven't done that in years like we haven't done that since we was in literally beginning of high school but when i pushed her she dead looked at me and i could see like the rage in her face and she like rushed me like she ran to me and like kept trying to fight me and then she dug me in my eyes and that pissed me off like when my sister dug me in the eyes i was mad as so I did hit her like a good one time and I pushed her hard as fuck. She was just like scratch, grabbing me all my face and stuff and it was just a lot. Like it was just a lot. Like it was just a lot and I was just black and I was like, you don't even do this to the people who deserve to have their hands put on. You don't do this and you're doing this to me and I was just so mad and I was just going off and she was just treating me like a motherfucker. I don't even know. She was just beating my ass. She punched me and grabbed me and like scratched me in the face a couple times but like my eye was like burning and stuff so my mom had went back to her hotel room because we all had had a dinner together before my mom had went back to her hotel room and then I went back to my hotel room. My mom ends up going to sleep which I was not aware. I'm thinking my mom is like in the casino or something. It basically just like calmed down because my sister was like yeah you just got fucked up blah 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 taunting me and I was like you're gonna regret this. I promise you because I'm the only in your life who give a about you and i was just going off because it's true like girl i'm the only one who really care about you in your life and you gonna put your hands on me like Bleh. why would you do that well, you put your hands on me so you broke that line and that blew me and i don't know y'all may have different interpretations of it but one thing about me don't put your hands on me because we ain't never gonna be cool again and that especially if you're not my family we ain't never gonna be cool again especially the way my sister hit me too was like what was made me mad and i kept crying when i had called Shade and i was calling the resort literally bawling my the eyes out sitting near the pool and so basically i ended up leaving i was like i'm leaving and i'm like i'm not coming back and she was like yeah get the fuck out blah, blah, blah. but then i heard the security knocking on our door because we was so freaking loud so i slipped out the back door i'm crying and i'm calling shade and i'm basically just like telling shade what happened and like to calm me down and i go to our mom's room and i'm banging on the door i'm banging 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 bawling my eyes out my mom is not answering the door and she's pissing me off a man comes up to me and was like are you okay like one of the workers and i'm like yeah i'm fine and i ended up going near the pool and i ended up just like basically passing out not passing out but just like laying there and just like just feeling it and crying 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 because i never like thought like even when we was arguing i never thought that it would get there i just hope that when i have kids they know like we ain't finna fight each other it don't matter what's finna happen like we could argue down 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 we could argue for hours but don't put your hands on nobody especially because I don't know, I just feel like I ain't really deserve to have her dig me in my eyes and stuff. Which obviously we talked about it now and stuff, so like she's aware of why I took it more personal. So I'm calling my mom, I call my mom probably like 27 times, she doesn't answer. Called my mom's friend, like he don't answer. So after then I ended up walking around the resort for like probably like two or three hours. And then um, I ended up being like 
this is a good idea I walk to the front desk and I'm like bro can I call the room so I call my mom's room and she answers my mom's friend is who picks up so I'm like can you tell my mom to pick up her phone because I was getting mad at my mom now because it's just like bro why are you not answering so my mom's like hello and I'm like you're asleep like I just banged on your door for literally like 30 freaking minutes like what and I'm basically telling her and my mom just hangs up because she jumps up my mom said what she thought happened was that like someone tried to take us or something like my mom was like she just jumped up and literally put her clothes on hella quick and basically she was like what the fuck happened like my mom was just like I don't know what to do so I'm like I'm not going back there with her blah 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 so I ended up sleeping in my mom's room that night we left the next day so like the next day i took my sister's passport and stuff out of my purse i put them right there on the counter for her i told her you're on your own don't look at me for nothing don't look for at me for no ride home don't look at me for no uber home don't look at me to help you through the airport don't look at me to help you scan your passport do not help like i don't care it's your mom's responsibility especially because we were all on the same flight i moved her seat from away from me you're not sitting next to me they ended up telling me i accidentally did put her in the back of the plane it was an accident though i think what happened was when i switched her seats or when i moved both of our seats first of all i had to pay a fee so that's how you know i was real mad i paid one hundred dollars to have her seat not next to mine but she ended up being back in row 18 but mind you my sister when she fly with me she get luxury she's in row one i didn't talk to her the whole time like i did not say nothing to her like when my family was talking and stuff and like well i walked ahead of them i put my airpods in i was gonna cut everybody off when i got home like i did not give a fuck. one thing about me after i realized i have the upper hand in the situation i didn't give a fuck. i was like okay cool <laughs> but i ended up just taking the uber home and it was more peaceful that way anyway because i just did not want to be around her for real and we didn't talk for like a cool like i blocked her number i blocked her instagram i blocked her tiktok i blocked everything i deleted her contact um everything like i was over i don't even know if my dad knew but like i was over i was like i don't have no reason to talk to you and like my mom was telling me like over time though like she was telling my mom like she blocked me on everything and blah blah, blah. i feel like maybe i should have communicated better during like the day like hey your dad pissed me off a little bit but i feel like even in the space of mind that she was and she just wasn't even ready to hear like you're being a bus kill i just let it eat me up until like the last final straw which was about a door that honestly i could have walked around for and honestly she could have opened when she heard me banging or could have texted me like i don't know y'all let me know who y'all think was wrong in the comments without like like really digging up to my sister i know my mom probably gonna be like well how would you make this story time but i did ask my sister if i could make the story time and i did admit my fault i did say what i was wrong about like girl i could have walked around i don't care i'm not walking around i never hit her though and that was one thing i stood on my mom was like y'all fight i'm like nobody fought she attacked me like girl i went straight into carry mode i was attacked i don't have no other siblings not even from my daddy's side nothing like it's one and done it's two and done with both my parents like we are the same seed same mama same daddy grew up in the same house let me know y'all thoughts in the comments stay beautiful stay blessed do not fight your family and if you and your family's in a little petty argument or you and your siblings in a petty argument honestly make up because when me and my sister got back cool it was just like we just back regular like it really was nothing i just said the way i broke the ice with my sister was literally i sent her a tiktok i literally sent her a tiktok that said when you're already having a bad day and then you remember your sister bald-headed and then the man was like i to pray bye y'all that was my story time i love y'all stay beautiful stay blessed i'm finna go get waxed and my wax is in 30 minutes so yeah adios